Hey guys, welcome back to the Coin Snobs Vidya. Finally, uh, today we're going to take our very first look at the 2024 proof Morgan and Peace dollars. Even though I guess technically they are not dollars. Um, let's talk a little bit about them first before we open them. Uh, they're not a full ounce of silver. They are 0.999 fine, which is nice. Uh, but one of the problems that a lot of people have with them, of course, is that they are not a full ounce of silver. And uh, a lot of people have a bit of a difficulty with the price. Uh, however, we do love them. We love the way they look. That's not to say that we think they're perfect. Uh, honestly, if I had my wishes, what they would do is they would literally re-strike the old Morgan and Peace dollars um, as NIFSIs, not intended for circulation. Uh, 0 0.90 fine silver, circulated condition, nothing special about them, so that if you do happen to get something that grades like a mint state 67 or 68, it's a big deal, like a regular circulating coin. Uh, maybe you could buy them in, you know, bags of 100, mint bags in 100 or something like that. That, to me, would be super cool. Uh, however... Uh, again, we do love these, these proof dollars. I like the circulation strike ones, uh, a little bit better, the mint state ones, uh, over the proof, but that's not, of course, to say that I don't absolutely love the way the proof dollars look. They're just not everybody's cup of tea, of course. And as we always say, collect how you want to collect. It's all about you. You do you, boo-boo. So, let's go ahead and crack these bad boys open. We'll start with this box of Peace Dollars right here. Uh, I don't know if it's actually the Peace Dollars or the Morgan Dollars, but, uh, you know, 50-50 chance. Figured why not give it a guess. The poor little one-eyed guy is not doing so great. All right. And away we go. And as usual, if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and do so. We're pushing 2,500 subscribers, which is super awesome. Uh, we'll do another giveaway once we hit 3,000 subscribers. And I want to do something really super special when we hit, like, you know, 10,000 or 5,000 or 100,000 or whatever. If I'm still alive when we hit 100,000 subscribers, who knows? Uh, might be from a nursing home. But, uh, yeah, I want to do something special for you guys for showing us uh, that you care. And we're doing something good here, so I want to show a little bit of gratitude back. And it's just fun to give back anyways. Especially in the coin community. Alright, here we go. First off, get rid of that. Alright, look at that. Peace dollars. See that? I'm psychic. I knew exactly what was in here. Now I would assume, of course, and we all know how well assuming works, that this is going to be pretty much the exact same thing as the 2023s, just a different digit in the date. Attempt to daintily open these. Here we go. All right, very first one. San Francisco strike, of course, as most peace coins are. Go ahead and let you guys pause and read that if you would like. I'll read a little bit of it. Denomination, of course, $1. 99.9% silver 1.5 inches 38.10 millimeters and silver weight 0.859 troy ounces read it edges yeah that less than an ounce is what a lot of people who have a problem with these uh dislike it's understandable it would be cool if they were a full ounce this is different look at that they did change the actual packaging it's kind of got like a pleather thing going on there instead of the old plastic that the other ones have come in. Nice. Okay. Yeah, they've actually done a little bit of uh, added value to these this year. Very cool. I am always so nervous doing this. I really don't want to damage anything. Let's see if my dongle works. That's what she said! <laughs> yeah, sure. Alright. Dang, that sucker is bright! Holy crap, look at that. 
I mean, the 2023s, uh, I think it was 2023. Yeah, I think they've done these two previous years. Uh, again, if I learn one thing, two things fall out of my other ear. So you'll have to excuse me if I can't think of off the top of my head what other years they have done these in proof. But I'm pretty sure last year was uh, proof. Man, that is really good looking coin right there. Get a closer look at it here. Yeah, I feel like these are better condition, uh, better strikes than the previous years. Look at that blast white, beautiful mirrors. Yeah, that's that's a really top notch coin. They just look better than they did the previous years. I, I don't know. I mean, it could, it could be me. Uh, I don't know. You guys, let me know what you think. But I, I think those are better looking than they have been before. All right, put that one in there. No noticeable errors or anything on that one. In fact, it looked like it was just a beautiful Proof 70 coin. Proof 70, easy. I mean, no problem whatsoever. Number two on the piece, Doll Hairs. More C of O. Uh, C of A, certificate of... Authenticity, not occupancy. Sure, I know what I'm talking about. Another very blast white coin. All right, tweezers wrapped in tape to mitigate damage. Perfect. I suspect this one is also gonna be pretty close to perfect. Man, that's gorgeous. Just beautiful and I know I probably sound like a bit of a dork talking about coins I mean they're just coins and of course they're supposed to be perfect because you're paying for proof but knowing how the mint is it's nice to see coins that are easily proof 70 like this and again yeah under initial inspection this is another absolutely gorgeous proof 70 decam coin all day long easily really like the cases they're putting in the putting putting these in now and the next question of course is do you guys think that uh, we should get some of these certified or no you think it's worth it I mean again we we are uh, Kind of weird of course when it comes to coins because a lot of it has to do with you know memories for us and just maintaining something in perfect condition in a slab again another blast white proof piece dollar and the mint mark the s is right there below the one left hand side just above the eagle's tail and again, first look, absolutely perfect coin. All right. These should be the Morgans. Original Morgans, of course, struck between 1878 and 1904, and then struck again one year only in 1921. Which is why they brought out the 100-year uh, anniversary strikes in 2021. Ooh. Whoop. Yep, Morgans. go back and forth I of course love Morgan dollars I mean who doesn't like Morgans if if somebody says they don't like Morgan dollars they're just lying to you or they're crazy but I do I kind of go back and forth I, I I like peace dollars and I, I do love Morgan dollars all right same concept but I will show you the certificate of authenticity for the Morgans same exact idea, except of course for the coin designs. Uh, 
again really nice cases and again what seems to be absolutely perfect looking coins and you guys know I'll scope the crap out of these. I mean, I scope the crap out of my pocket change, so... Of course I'm gonna scope these, because you never know, there might be some kind of a rare error there or something. Could be something, and of course, if... We're to get any of these graded... We gotta make sure that they are, uh... Blemish-free. Yep, again, absolutely a perfect coin. Proof 70D cam, easy. And the S-Mint mark is below the wreath right there somewhere where my fat finger is absolutely flawless and I keep mentioning the fact that these are flawless because the ones that we've got in previous years have not been flawless whatsoever there has definitely been problems with them scratches here and there there's been uh, places where they're a little bit off toned these, I mean, these are absolutely perfect. Of course, I'm probably going to eat my words with one of these. It's going to be absolutely nasty looking. Murphy's Law. All right. Looks like another winner to me. Yeah, amazing coin. And this one has a little bit of rub uh, below her chin, but it's still fairly unnoticeable. I mean, it's still, it would still probably go proof 70. Very nice. And of course, I know a lot of you folks out there aren't going to get these, but, uh, that's one of the reasons why we like to bring you along. Share our adventure. See? Look at that. It's so perfect it can hardly wait to get out. Boop! Alright. Number six. Number three of the Morgans. Gorgeous. And absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Looks like a nearly perfect coin, if not an absolutely perfect coin, again. I mean, we would have no problem getting any of these certified proof 70. All right. That's all of them. And of course, the question that I have to you fine folks out there is, what do you think? Uh, I know a lot of you folks, again, aren't super into these. However, I do know that there are some of you out there that either have gotten them or are going to get them. And just let us know down in the comments what you think. They're a little bit higher end on the uh, money scale, of course. $95 a piece, 95 doll hairs, or 9.5 dog hairs. However, Again, the point is, is you do you. A lot of folks out there did what we did and we just have the subscription program. A lot of folks out there buy them off of eBay already certified, so they don't have to worry about certifying them and they know the grade that they're going to get. Or a lot of you folks out there are just going to skip it and get yourself a regular Morgan or Peace dollar in mint state condition. However, again, we love them. Beautiful coins. They've certainly improved the packaging. And uh, we're excited to see if they do it in 2025 again, which they, um, they I imagine they probably would. Uh, until next time, of course, if you haven't subscribed yet again, please go ahead and do so. Totally free. Change your mind at any time. Tick the bell to get a notification every single time that we do upload a video. As all of you OGs out there know, we do grab bag videos, uh, coin hunts, not as many coin hunts, but I mean, you know, we do coin albums. We do all kinds of stuff around here. Go ahead and throw it a thumbs up. Let's YouTube know that you found it at least entertaining. And it kicks our algorithms along a little bit further. Helps us to keep growing the channel, keep growing our little coin community here. Until next time, guys, love you all, God bless, and we'll see you, hopefully, very soon. Stay safe.